Good morning, good evening, wherever you are across the world and the universe. Welcome to my Quantum Living Podcast at the intersection of science and spirituality. I'm your host, Anna Anderson, quantum coach and teacher, intuitive guide, and above all, an inquisitive soul. This podcast is about how we can bring the various spiritual, metaphysical, and esoteric concepts validated by quantum physics and modern cosmology to the very practical level, to improve and enrich our life experience as individuals, communities, and the humankind. Whether you are listening to this show while driving or commuting, doing chores around the house, relaxing on a couch, or flying in a spaceship across the galaxy, I hope you'll enjoy today's episode. Okay, let's begin. Hello and welcome back to Quantum Living. In today's episode, I invite you to tune into and activate your throat chakra in my guided meditation. This meditation is part of my Inspirational Meditations album, containing seven daily meditations from Monday to Sunday. Each meditation activates the corresponding chakra, from the root chakra on Monday to the crown chakra on Sunday. The correlation of the seven chakras in our energy system to the seven days of the week is not incidental. Each day of the week has its own unique frequency, that resonates with the frequency of the corresponding chakra. This meditation is for Friday, the fifth day of the week, that corresponds to the fifth chakra, the powerful and very important throat chakra. This meditation is not only deeply relaxing, but also inspirational, as it invites introspection by highlighting the important aspects of our life as a human being and a soul. Aspects that are governed by the throat chakra, outward and inward communication, self-expression, and speaking your truth. This album is available for purchase on my website at quantumliving.com.au. You will also find more information about these meditations on the product page on my website. Enjoy! This meditation is for Friday. Sit back, relax, gently close your eyes, relax. Feel your body becoming heavier and heavier. Allow yourself to let go, to completely relax. Imagine a stream of white light, effervescent, sparkling with gentle cleansing energy, flowing down from above your head into your body. Releasing every micro tension from the top of your head down to your eyes, your jaw, your neck and shoulders, flowing down your arms, your back and chest, down your abdomen, your hips and legs. Exiting through the soles of your feet, releasing all the tension, all the stress, washing it down into Mother Earth for transmutation into love. Allow yourself to completely relax, let go, dissolve in the quantum field of all potentials.
once you have established your roots in this world, reviewed your relationships, rebalanced your identity, and looked into your heart, now is the time to focus on your communication, your voice, self-expression, and your communication with others. So now, place your awareness on your throat chakra, the fifth energy center connecting you with the universe, expanding to the front and back from the base of your throat, where your thyroid gland is. Sense it. Draw a deep breath in from that sacred point. Feel the pulsating energy of your throat chakra flowing into your body. This is the chakra of communication and self-expression, of speaking your truth, your voice being heard. It is both literally and metaphorically speaking of having your voice in this world. and also about using your voice purposefully to positively influence others. Sharing your knowledge, inspiration and wisdom or your singing talent. Focus on your communication with others. How do you express yourself? What words do you use? White, blue, green, pink, red or black. White words are kind and pure. Blue are formal and unemotional. Green and pink are the words of love and healing. Red words express passion or anger. Black words mean to hurt. Do you speak with kindness quietly? Or do you shout and curse with anger using bad language? Do you have a voice? Do you stand up for yourself? Call out the wrongdoings you can see around you. Speak up. Or do you think, who am I to say anything? No one will listen to me anyway. I don't want to get involved or be in the spotlight. You are given your voice for a reason. Use it wisely. It is a powerful tool. Words can heal and also hurt. Words can inspire and also demotivate, robbing someone of their precious dreams. Are you a good listener? Do you listen before you speak? Every person wants to be heard, including children. Listen to your child. Teach them that their voice does matter. Help them grow up with a healthy belief that they are being heard. When children get chronic throat infections, it's a sign that they are not being listened to and are not allowed to speak freely. Laryngitis, both in children and adults, is a strong signal of the throat chakra closing down. Your voice is not being heard, so you stop talking. Start this fifth day of the week focused on your communication and self-expression. Be mindful of the words you use and the tone of your voice. 
every conversation, even with different arguments, different points of view, can be carried out in a respectful and kind manner. Show your interest in a different point of view and ask for an explanation rather than dismissing it from the start. Sing in the shower or in your car on the way to work. Singing opens up the throat chakra and strengthens the vocal cords. Plus, singing always lifts the mood. You can't be depressed or sad and sing at the same time, I guarantee. To maintain this positive, high energy of thought and emotion throughout the day. Repeat this affirmation in your mind as often as you like. I do have a voice. I express myself freely and consciously. I use positive words in a soft tone of voice to positively influence others. I stand up for myself and speak up when needed. I do have a voice. I express myself freely and consciously. I use positive words in a soft tone of voice to positively influence others. I stand up for myself and speak up when needed. I do have a voice. I express myself freely and consciously. I use positive words in a soft tone of voice to positively influence others. I stand up for myself and speak up when needed. And now, bring your awareness back into your body. Take a deep breath in and open your eyes. Come back to this meditation next week. That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you really loved it, please post a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify to encourage others to listen to it. For the show notes, guest and podcast info, reviews, comments and much more, please visit quantumlivingpodcast.com. And if you'd like to dive deeper into quantum living and explore how you could work with me, please contact me and I'd be delighted to help and support you on your quantum journey. I am your host, Anna Anderson. I look forward to connecting with you in the next episode of Quantum Living. Until then, keep your vibrations high and be well.